I'd like to say great day to the class. Great day. My name is Dr. Stefan Williams, and I will be a moderator for today's lecture. Please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Thank you. Welcome to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school, and it is not a church. And neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-denominational, religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing the proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim in the operation of the eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operate all eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision accompanied by a divine revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kennedy, in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, Jamaica, New Mexico, Africa, England, and certain other foreign countries. The Omaha class meetings 
was established in the year of 2016. In this school, we use the true, original, and correct name of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. And it has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and they are not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. We now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is a title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but Jesus is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia would prove to you that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin languages have neither characters or letters in their alphabets that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the end language which is of 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and original name of the Father and His Son. Christ is a title just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. And in this state, he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart of the cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose the cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular order, scripture, shape, or form. We are drawn a cloud. All around the edges of this chart to show you how that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, knowing that man cannot receive of him in his pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the Word or Son, a superincorporeal being that is having a shape and form of a man but without flesh and blood. And this form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested itself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given to salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we all should be asking ourselves is, what was the name of the Savior during the time that he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern of the universe because it's Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him his tabernacle pattern and a vision. He then instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the walls of Sinai. The pattern consists of 
a most holy place, a holy place in a court roundabout. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also, when this school we show proof how that everything in the universe operates and function and is made according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Now, our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as He really is and how He actually exists. Second, to form a nuclear universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the station of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and power of latent man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, philosophy, psychology, modern practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticism, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satanist demons operating mischief and iniquity on earth through the dispensation of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith, which is once delivered to the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is no other name given among men, whereby man can be saved, that saved the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth, that is to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah, with the hope of immortal glorification in the New York State. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We'll begin today's lecture with opening prayer, and that prayer will be given by Dr. Rapunzel Williams, who will have one selection of psalms. And our scripture lesson for today's lecture is Psalms, the 40th Division, and that will be read by Dr. Stefan Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Great day, class. Great day. Let us bow our hearts and minds to Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, the Messiah. Father, we would like to thank you once again for allowing us to come back to another class to learn more of your purpose, your pattern, your plan. Yeah. We would like to thank you, Father, for being so ever so merciful. I thank you, Father, for being our banner, our provider. Asking you, Father, to to just, just, just continue to keep loving us, even when we don't do what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Father, we're asking you to open up our spiritual minds, our spiritual ears, our spiritual hearts to receive the message that's for us today from the foundation of the world. I ask you, Father, that all the classes today that are going out today in their homes or wherever they may be going out to or from, we ask you, Father, to to enlighten anybody who's first time visitors or, or first time watching on the YouTube. Yeah. We ask you, Father, to uh, that we love you, that you first loved us. Right. All these blessings we ask in the only begotten Son, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Haluya. Haluya. Like to say, great day to the class once again. Great day. Our scripture lesson for today's lecture is Psalms, the 40th division. And I'll be reading it from the Holy Name Bible, Authorized King James Version, Zondervan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 6, excuse me, 49530. It says, Holy Bible reference contains the Old and New Testaments translated out of the original tongues and with the former translations, diligently compared and revised by His Majesty, special command, words of Christ, it says, but truly words of, of the Messiah, Yahshua, printed in red letter, certain column references, authorized King James Version. And I'll be certain the true correct name of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, where need be, His divine title, Elohim, where need be, in the name of the Savior, the true correct name of our Savior, Yahshua, Messiah, where need be. Once again, Psalm, the 40th division from the King James Version of the Bible. It says, I waited patiently for Yahweh, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our Elohim, Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in Yahweh. Blessed is that man that maketh Yahweh his trust and respecteth not the proud nor such as turn aside to, to lies. Many, O Yahweh, my Elohim, are they, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done and thy thoughts which are to us word. They cannot be reckoned up in, up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than, than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou biddest not desire. Mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then said, I, lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my Elohim, yea, thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Yahweh, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercy from me, O Yahweh. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. My iniquities have taken hold upon me. So that I am not able to look up, they are more than the hairs of mine head, Therefore, my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Yahweh, to, to deliver me, O Yahweh. Make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confound together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha, that all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, Yahweh be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet Yahweh thinketh up upon me. Thou art my help and my redeemer. Make no tarrying, O my Elohim. I be bread for you. Psalm the 40th Division from the King James Version of the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Like I say, great day in the class once again. Great day. I'd like to remind everyone to please silence all cell phones and all the time of devices. Thank you. Now I'd like to call on our speaker for today's lecture. I'd like to call on Dr. Stefan Williams. Like I say, great day to everyone. Great day. Like I say, great day to the overview that viewing this class video also. Yes. Um, like I said, I'm just thankful to Yahweh my Elohim for another opportunity uh, uh, and also for, for him bringing me back to another class to learn more of him, how he truly is, how to actually exist. Yes. And, that, and continue to have mercy on my soul. And um, just ever so thankful and grateful, that's all I can say. Um, and as a moderation states in every class that's being held all across the world that this is a school and it is not a church. All right, and um, we come to class. The class was set up for us to learn how our heavenly Father wants to be worshipped. Okay, all right, yes. and how to truly worship Him. Okay, all right. Yes. And um, just going to get into what uh, not get into, but Yahweh just put this on the heart and mind. Uh, so we're just going to have to do this. This vessel is going to be used by him um, yes. to get into um, divine visions, all right? Okay. Accompanied by divine revelation, all right? Okay? okay. All right? And um, uh, one might be viewing this class video for the very first time, or it could be your second or third time, but you truly, uh, uh, I would say, uh, um, you're fairly new to watching these classes, the classes that are, that are being held on YouTube, okay? Yes. And what you see is a pictorial illustration, all right? Yes. Of your Bible from Genesis and Revelation, okay? In pictorial form, okay? Mm -hmm. And, um, um, yeah, and this, and these pictorial illustrations is a result, see, of a divine vision, okay? It says, Panoramic Vision of Elohim to Moses in 1490 B.Y. The B.Y. means before Yahshua, or before the birth of, before the birth of Yahshua. Okay? All right? Okay. And you go down here, but not down here, but on this side, it says, Panoramic Vision of Elohim to John in A.D. 96. Okay? Mm -hmm. After the death, all right, of Yahshua Messiah. All right, so many years after. Okay, all right, okay, and this took place, John's vision took place, okay, in this fourth age, present kingdom age, where we now reside in, okay, and the vision that was given to uh, Moses here, on top of Mount Sinai, I want to say that before I go any further, you see that he has an elevated state, okay, and top of Mount Sinai, all right, in the third age post illuminate that means after the flood. Okay? Um, yeah. Um, yes. And like I said, he's in an elevated state on top of Mount Sinai. Okay, just, these are just pictorial illustrations. John is, is an elevated state here on the Isla of Patmos, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. So we're going to deal with visions, divine visions, in the Bible Revelation today, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, as, as our moderation states that what you see as a pictorial illustration, okay, is a result of a divine vision, once again, in the Bible Revelation. Even to our founder, Dr. Henry Clipper Kelly, okay? Yes. In the state of Ohio in the year 1931 in Springfield, Ohio, at 9, 9, 9 a.m. in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. We can just hold it right there just for a second there. Okay. There's a couple of things I, uh, a couple of things I want to, uh,
and this is the um, pamphlet. Okay, this is a pamphlet. Um, as a, I would say, a testimony of giving, giving of the founder of what he was shown, what Yahweh had shown to him in, in a divine vision. Okay? okay. According to my, my revelation, it said panoramic vision here, okay? Yes. All right? It said panoramic vision here. Doesn't it say that? Yes. Okay? Just like you see here, panoramic vision here, right? Yes. And you also see the name panoramic vision here, okay? Yes. All right? So it would, it would appear that it would appear that Moses having a vision at 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 a, a um, separate, you know, words at a separate time. I said like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, it seemed like John's having the vision at at a, at a certain time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the founders having the vision at at a, at, a, at a certain time. Okay? okay, but you notice it says here at the at the top where they are. Okay. It says eternity. Okay? Alright? It says Yahweh's spirit manifested within the clouds symbolizing eternity, alright? Yes. Okay? You all can you can also call it the third heaven. Okay? Yes. Alright? We come down here. One might not know that there are three heavens. Okay? Okay. It says here. This is our 40 plate chart. And it says here, first heaven. Okay? Like it to the earth plane. Then we go on up, it says here, second heaven. So there's three plates. Okay? okay. Three plates here to this one column. So quite naturally, there is a third heaven, or like unto eternity, because it says here, eternity. Is that not right? Yes. You see how I go? Yes. To the eternity here, right? Yes. It says, creation abide within Yahweh, or eternity. Is that what you read? Yes. It said the clouds symbolize eternity. Is that correct? Yes. And so we have here eternity, okay, or the third heaven, okay? Yes. All right? And there's no flesh and blood in eternity or the third heaven, okay? Mm. And these divine visions with the Yahweh himself who takes on a shaping form, who takes on shaping form, okay? Mm. Of himself, okay? Mm. He is pure spirit here without any description or shape or form here, okay? Yes. Can't be seen here with, with, the, with, with, with a carnal mind or or a physical eye okay yes. okay but can't be seen here with your spiritual eye of understanding okay if i can say it like that okay yes. has to be revealed to you by the sun okay yes all right so we have yahweh took on human form here and the human form of a man but with our flesh and blood okay, okay. so moses john the founder okay mm -hmm. Seen Yahshua the Messiah or Yahweh Elohim in shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood, okay? Yeah. In the third heaven or in a world of eternity where there's no flesh and blood, okay? Yeah. All right? And I'm going to say this that Yahweh Elohim, he is the vision itself, okay? Yeah. All right? And this is taking place in the confines of man's head cavity. Okay? Yes. All right? Okay? okay? So we're going to get a couple of chapters and verses and uh, move on. So we're going to deal with the, with the, with the, um, this, this follow me, continue to follow me real quick here. So just, just, just follow, follow me as I I'm slow, slow it down. So it says Yahweh is spirit, or Yahweh is pure spirit, okay? Yes. All right? Manifest within the cloud. The cloud symbolizes an eternity, right? right. The rules of above. That's what you read there, right? Yes. So we're going to read it. We're going to read. We're going to, read, we're going to start there first. Get 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Just write it down and come on back. 2 Corinthians 3 17. Okay? 
You go right down John 4 and 23. You're going to write down Isaiah 57 and 15. And also um, Deuteronomy 4 and 12. Yeah, that better be good for now. All right? Okay. And um, I'm going to look up a couple words here. Um, write down the word panoramic. Pan, uh, panoramic. Just be patient with us a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Panoramic. Panoramic. I'm close to it now. Panoramic. Uh, let's see here. Spell P A P A N O. Okay. Panoramic. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I can't, I can't see. The sickies find a panoramic. It's P A N O R A. P A N O R A M I C. You see it? Yes, sir. You have it? Yes, sir. Give it here. Definition of the word panoramic from the second column edition, the American Heritage Dictionary, definition of the word panoramic. It says an unlimited view of all visible objects over a wide area. Um, it says a picture of series of pictures representing a continuous uh, seen exhibited a part at a time by being unrolled and passed before the spectator. That's pretty great, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so this panoramic is an unlimited view, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of all angles, of all yeah, all visible objects over a wide area. A picture of series, a picture of series of pictures, okay. representing a continuous scene. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Is that is that great? That's great. Uh, there's another word I want to look up. Um, was another one? Oh yeah, uh, uh, television. Definition of the word television. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Television. 
you have television. Once again, the definition of the word television, I've been reading it from the second card edition, the American Heritage Edition, the definition of the word television. It says, um, the transmission of visual images of moving and stationary objects generally with uh, a company a company sound as electronic uh, electron ele electromagnetic waves and the um, let's see here rec uh, rec reconversion of received waves into visual images mm. all right It says the in, um, it says the, intra, the uh, integrated audible and visible content of the electromagnetic waves received and converted by such an um, uh, appertains. Okay, okay. that's pretty good. And it says visions. Visions, that's pretty good, all right? Okay. So, um, let's get those, um, oh, so, as I said a little earlier, once again, the Yahweh's spirit manifests within the clouds, symbolizing eternity, all right? Yeah. Use them above. So then, we have here, that's just a little better, better, better of a breakdown, okay? How we have Yahweh's spirit. He's got through showing that uh, pictorial of, of, of low top here. Mm -hmm. okay, Yahweh's spirit. Okay. So it says Yahweh's pure spirit. Okay. And we're, we're going to read a couple of chapters and verses of that. Deuteronomy 4 and 12 and John 4 and 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, so the Yahweh takes on shape and form of Yahweh Elohim. Now this is a visionary form here. Yes. Of himself. His, his lesser state, but it's still him. Okay? Yeah. This is his intermediate state. This is Yahweh's abstract state. This is Yahweh's intermediate state. This is Yahweh's human form of every man but without flesh and blood. Okay? Yeah. And then he was seen by Moses, seen by, seen by the prophets, seen John on the Isle of Patmos, seen by, by, by the founder of this school. Okay? Yeah. All right? And we got to take a little further than that. We're going to get into that in a minute. Okay, so this is Yahweh in a super incorporeal form uh, is a visionary state. Okay, huh. all right. Then he comes on down to a lesser state, a concrete state of himself. So these three states, two manifestations. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the corporeal state of Yahweh manifesting in the flesh, physical form. That's Yahshua the Messiah, or Yahweh manifesting the flesh. Okay, huh. all right. Okay. Okay, just want to just get that. So now, just keep it right here. Okay. Make sure you get all that in there. And I want you to start reading uh, um, whatever I had, whatever. Just go down the low. Go down the go down the um, the list. Come on. Second Corinthians three and seventeen. I'm reading the Bible. Uh huh. Read, yes, yeah, 17 and 18. Go ahead. Yes. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. I'm reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, Yahweh is spirit. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. There you go. Read. And where the spirit of Yahweh is. Now, where the spirit of Yahweh is now. That, that, see, that's our first aim to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim. All right? Mm -hmm. Or where the spirit of Yahweh is. Okay? Yes. That's our first aim, right? Right. To help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is, right? Mm -hmm. Or what the spirit of Yahweh is, right? right. You see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Okay, we just can't leave it right here. Right. That's why it's three stages of existence, okay? Yes. All right, yes. read. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. Uh-huh. And where the spirit of Yahweh is... That's key, right? Yes. There is liberty. There's freedom or there's liberty, is that right? Yes. Once, once he... We, I might be the head of myself. We're going to get into it in a minute, okay? Yeah. All right? So go to the next one. But Keep, keep I'm reading. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm apologizing. Keep reading, please. Uh, 
Corinthians 3 and 18. I don't know the Bible. Mm. But we all, but we all with open face. But we all with open face. Beholding as a, as in a glass the glory of Yahweh. Uh-huh. Are changed into the same image. We are changed to the same image. You got to read about television, right? Right. Read. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of Yahweh. All right. See how I go? All right. Change from glory to glory to let, to let us know that we are Him. You understand? Yes. Okay. Next one, please. Yes. Uh, John 4 and 23. Of the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. But the hour cometh. Uh huh. And now is. Read. When the true worshippers. Uh huh. Shall worship the Father. They worship worship the Father. See the, the Father Yahweh, who was our heavenly Father. His true correct name is Yahweh, not Lord, not Jehovah, not God. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Not Yahweh, not Yahweh Shai. You listening? Yes. Not Allah, Buddha, Krishna. You listening? Yes. Or Buha Allah. You understand know what I'm talking about? Yes. But hours come when now is. When a true worshiper worshiper should work with the Father Yahweh. You understand know what I'm talking about? Read. In spirit and in truth. Why is that? Because Yahweh is pure spirit. But there's a way for us to worship him. For the Father seeketh such to be worshipped. That's right, read. For, for Yahweh is Pure spirit. Read. And the day that worship him uh -huh. must worship him right. in spirit and in truth. All right. Let's see. Okay. Just go and just just skip the next one. Go right back to it. Go into Romans one nineteen and twenty. We gonna come on back. Go right back to the list that you already got down. Okay. This because it says he wants to be worshipped in spirit and truth. Yeah. Okay. Romans 1 19. And, and this is the way. Okay? Yes. All right? Read. Romans 1 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. Because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them. Now, the them that he's referring to at, at this, what he's writing about is the them back here. Okay? The children of Israel. Okay? That's what he's talking, referring to, to the them. Okay? All right, back here uh, at the uh, at the foot of Mount Sinai here. Okay, all right, okay. In yeah. the third age, post William age. Okay, and we reside on this side of the cross now. We are currently in the fourth age, present kingdom age. Okay, what's valid in one age is not particularly valid in another age. Okay, yeah. so at that particular point, when John John had a divine vision, he referred back. To them, that's to them. But now it's us, okay? Yes. Same way. He got here to reveal us, reveal himself to us yes. by divine vision, all right? Yes. Well, the way you gonna know about it? We'll get into that, get more and more as we continue to go on. Read on, back here. Okay. Read on. Because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifested in them. In them, in them, read. For Yahweh has shown it. Until How did he do that? See, by divine vision. He showed him himself. Okay? Yes. Read. For the invisible things of him. See, for the invisible things of Yahweh. Read. From the creation of the world. From the creation of the world. Are clearly seen. Now, now, it says, um, are clearly seen. Right? Right. It says, by the creation of the world. Let's read that part again. I'll mess that up. Get down here for a second. Come on. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the uh -huh. world are clearly seen. Are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made. All right. See, so being now, right. So being understood by the things that are made, meaning physical, to understand the spiritual. Okay? Yes. So we can clearly see spiritual things by the physical things that are made, okay? Yes. Okay? You listening? Yes. <clears throat> Read. Being understood by the, oh, excuse me. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made. Uh-huh. 
even his eternal power. Now, even, now, 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 so we can understand his eternal, see, his eternal power. Now, come on back down here. His eternal power. He said we can know about his eternal power. Yes. And. Or an abstract state, read. And it's upon nature. It's upon nature, see? It's upon nature meaning what? It's upon nature, it's upon nature meaning, go back here. So upon nature meaning, I'll keep it right here. Let's come back here. So upon nature meaning, Yahweh in shaping Yahweh in in a super incorporeal form or shaping form of a man but without flesh and blood, okay? Yes. That's his upon nature. Okay? Yes. Now the King James Version or 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 religious world will will King James Version in that same chapter and verse, Romans uh one nineteen and twenty will say God here the King James Version. Okay? okay. And when these charts were drawn out. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, in, in I believe it was in 1940s, between 1935 and 1945, somewhere in there, they were using God, okay, at that time to uh, meet the people where they were and then bring them up and get them off the erroneous title God, okay? Hmm. But the truth is upon nature, okay? Meaning Yahweh in shape and form, okay? You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. or, the, or in other words, get back here for a minute. Okay. We have those nine divine attributes here. Okay. Intelligent wisdom and knowledge, love, beauty, justice, power, foundation, and strength. Coming to a set position. Okay. You see us here, it says Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. These three are one. Or this is upon nature of Yahweh in bodily form, okay? okay. Alright? So you see the nine divine attributes are kind of like scattered out in a sense. Yes. They come to a sacred form here. And we'll come on down here. Okay, get on this side here. Just pan back out, then we're gonna zoom back in. This is our 40 plate chart. It's entitled The Divine Pattern of the Universe, proving the existence of Yahweh and manifesting his purpose by the physical creation, okay? Yes. Through the dispensation and ages. And the readers read Romans 1, 19 and 20, okay? All right? Okay. 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 So now come back here. So we have those nine divine attributes. They're now more in an organized state here, okay? All right? Intelligent wisdom, but not like unto the it's like unto the head cavity or or like unto Yahweh. Okay. Then we have love, beauty, justice, like unto the um, chest region, like unto Elohim. Okay. Then we have foundation, power, and strength, like unto the abdominal cavity or Yahshua. Okay. All right. This is the appointment of Yahweh, so we can know by Yahweh's eternal. Eternal power in its upon of nature, right? right? By the things that are made. Is that what you read? Yes. So now I have something physical to understand the spiritual. Is that correct? Yes. So we have the tabernacle pattern here, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. Which has a most holy place, a holy place, a court round about. The most holy place has a three in one vessel in here, I'll say it like that. Meaning two archangels of the Ark of the Covenant. One solid piece, uh, three in one configuration. And we come on down here to the holy place. We have three vessels here. Is that correct? Yes. Altar, altar of incense, altar, uh, uh, seven brass lampstand, table of shoe braid. Then we come into the court round about. Okay? Well, we have a couple of anointing oil, brazen labor, altar of sin sacrifice. Okay? Yes. All right? Okay, like unto Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Okay, no, I better do it like this. Yes, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua type. Okay, but the point is, it takes the physical. Mm -hmm. right? right? So you have nine here, you have three here, three and one, three, six, nine. Yes. Right? right? You have three, 
six, nine. Is that right? Right. Okay. You have three, six, nine. Is that right? That's right. So it takes the natural to understand the invisible. Is that correct? Yes. You see how it go? But the only way you're going to know that unless Yahweh will reveal himself to you by divine vision. Is that, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. He is the vision himself. You listening? He will show you himself within, within you, okay? And he's a form of man but without flesh and blood. He is the vision itself, okay? Yes. He is telling his own vision. You listen. Yes. He is the vision. Yes. And why it says that's why it's named Tell L Vision. You listen? Right. This is the true and original television right here. Right. You listen? Yes. He has that no L is divine title, not L him for nothing. You got me? Right. And shown is he showed himself in divine vision. You listening? Yes. He is telling his own vision. He is the vision himself. You got me? Yes. Nobody can tell L vision better than L can tell his own vision. Is that right? That's right. So I go? Yes. So we got the kingdom, like the tenth part of Yahweh. The tenth part meaning Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You listening? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Like curtains here. Yes. You got me? Yes. He's telling his vision, playing all roles. You listening? Yes. See this cloud or this curtain? You open up the curtain. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. He show. He's gonna show you the vision, show him himself. He's gonna play it out. You got me? Yes. Like watching a movie. You got me? Yes. Then when the movie's over, he's close. The curtain's closed. Is that right? Yes. And the clerk, the curtain's about to close on the creation. You this at any moment. You got me? Yes. It's gonna be movie over, party over. You got me? Yes. Got so the kingdom going around here. See. That that tent part of Yahweh, meaning tent, meaning back to one who is Yahweh. You listening? Yes. Then we got the we got the court roundabout going around. That that tent part of Yahweh. You listening? Like yes. the kingdom. You got me? Yes. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Being understood by the things that are made. You got me? So we have the. You know. We have a, a what I would say, um, um, the planets, okay? You got me? Yes. And so forth and so on, see? Okay? okay. Water, you can touch it, water, you know what I mean? Earth, mm -hmm. the sun, the moon, your trees, you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. You can see it, stars. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Insects, amphibians, the bird king, and so forth and so on. You got me? Yes. And man himself, okay? Being understood by the things that are made, okay? All right? Okay? Yes. All right? So I just want to have that red so we can get back here now. Get the next one, please. Then order. Okay. That's what that you wrote down there. What you got? Isaiah. Mm -hmm. 57 and 15. Mm-hmm. Isaiah 57 and 15. Out of the Holy Name Bible. Mm-hmm. For thus saith the high and lofty one. Now I said, for thus saith the, the high and lofty one. Now, the high and lofty one is Yahweh. Thus said the high and lofty one. This is the prophet Isaiah. You got, you got what I'm saying? Yes. He is having a divine vision. You got what I'm saying? He says, this is what he's seeing. Yahweh Elohim. Thus said the high and lofty one. Read. For thus said the high and lofty mm -hmm. one that inhabit eternity. In inhabit eternity. Read. Who name is holy. Who name Yahweh name is holy, ladies and gentlemen. Read. I dwell in the the high and holy place. Now he now watch it now. See, he said now he dwell in the high or dwell in the most holy place. You, just, you, just, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Just hold it right there. I'll read it. Just, just pin right there. I'll read it real quick. Leviticus 16 and 2. Write that down. He said he dwell in the high and holy place. Leviticus 16 and 2. Leviticus 
Leviticus 16 and 2. Leviticus 16 and 2, Holy Name Bible says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Speak unto Aaron thy brother, that he come not at all into the most holy place. Okay? That he come, that he come not at all time into the most holy place within the veil, before the mercy seat. See? All right? Which is upon the ark. For I will appear in the cloud, see? You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The cloud symbolizes eternity, right? Right. In the cloud upon the mercy seat, is that right? Yes. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. So we have here, we're going to read it to me, we're going to read it, we'll get into it though. I mean, just flow, I'm just going away, I'm being led to go. I'm just following. It says, man made in the image of Elohim by the power of the tabernacle. This is physical, right? Yes. To understand the spiritual. Okay? Yes. All right? Okay? Yes. So we got a cloud. Tabernacle pattern. Tabernacle of man. Man by the pattern. Is that right? Yes. Cloud here. Man has a, his brain is like a gray and white matter. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man has two eyes to see as one. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man has a left and right hemisphere. You got me like a two archangel. Is that right? Yes. The two eyes see as one. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. You got me? He would appear in your cloud. You got me in a divine vision. You got me? Mm -hmm. Upon the mercy seat. You listening? Yes. Within you. You got me? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, what you got? Uh, Continue uh, Isaiah 57. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. For thus said the high and lofty one mm -hmm. that inhabit eternity, yeah. whose name is holy. Right. I dwell in the high and holy place right. with him. Uh -huh. Also, that is of a contract and humble spirit. All right. To reveal the spirit of the humble. All and right. To reveal the heart of the. To reveal us, revive. Revive, excuse me. Yes, sir. Read. And to revive the heart of the. Contract once. Uh-huh. All right. Would well, you get anything else on it down there? Uh, yes, sir. Do I Uh-huh. And 12. Keep it right here. Uh-huh. Come on. Go here. What do you say? Deuteronomy 4 and 12. And the young of... Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 12, I was hearing that Bible. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh spake unto, unto you out of the midst of the fire. Uh-huh. Ye heard the voice of the word. Then you heard the voice of the word. Right, read. But saw no signature. They saw no shape and form. Read. Only ye heard a voice. Only ye heard a voice. Is that good? Yes. So now, we go right here. It said, Yahweh spoke out of the midst of the cloud, right? Right. You only heard a voice. See the lips there? Yes. <laughs> see out that cloud. So yes. You don't see no shape and form there. Right. But they heard a voice. You listening? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Don't you hear a voice up? Don't you hear a voice up here? Yes. You got me? Mm -hmm. You don't you don't see no mouth moving. No. You don't see no mouth, do you? When you hear a voice, don't you? Yes. You got me in your cloud, don't you? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. All right. What you, you anything else holding? No, sir. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. So we going to um. Yeah. Just now, uh, just follow me for a moment here. So I I, I uh we we had the uh, the um definition of the word panoramic looked up right. Yes. Panoramic vision of Elohim. Yes. See. To Moses, see? Paramount video of Elohim to John, see? Yes. All right, this is Yahweh in shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We, we, this was, that's, uh, we read about uh, the prophet Isaiah. Yes. You understand know what I'm talking about? He said what he said. You understand know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. um, over in uh, 2 Corinthians 3. 
right? Right. John filled with the Holy Spirit. Yahshua, he, he's, that's what he's proclaiming. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He is called to the third heaven. Okay? Yes. And I'll read them real quick here. Just keep, just, just follow me. Okay. I mean, whatever, just... Just keep it right there. Matter of fact, um, just keep it here. Okay, so that's Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, ladies and gentlemen. In verse 1, Holy Name Bible, it says, It is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory, I will come to visions. Okay? All right? Let's get it back up here. He said, I will come to visions. This is the, this is Apostle, uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, Apostle Saul, Apostle Paul. He said, He would come to visions, right? Mm -hmm. And revelations. Okay? All right? Mm -hmm. This is in a realm of eternity. What if there is no time? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So in other words, everyone has had that Yahweh showed, showed himself in this intermediate state. You got me? Yeah. As Yahweh El him, we're all having this divine vision, revelation at the self same time. If you can say it like that for, for a better understanding. Is that right? Yeah. There's no time in eternity. There's only one vision. Okay? Right. It ain't 5,000 visions, all right? It says panoramic vision. Yes. You got me? He is the vision himself. You listening? Yes. Yahweh Elohim. Okay? He said, I knew a man in the Messiah more than 14 years ago. Whether in a body I cannot tell, or whether out of a body I cannot tell, Yahweh knoweth. Such a one called to the third heaven. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so one might not know, but now they do know. That there is three heavens. Okay? See, I said first heaven. Is that what, can you see it? Okay. Yes, sir. First heaven. Right? Yes. See, I said second heaven. Okay? And quite naturally, third heaven. He said we call to the realm of eternity or the third heaven. Okay? All right? Yes. Meaning this is what he saw upon make them Yahweh. Okay, like the founder Saul, mm -hmm. Moses, John Islam Patmos, Isaiah, you see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Peter, James, and John, the 70 chosen, so it said vision, so I go. Yeah. This is a fulfillment of this here, Aaron, they have in the bayou, 70 elders, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, so now, I'm gonna, uh, let's see this. Like I'll just, I, I, I use this. And you see here it says Elohim, the archetype written on parallel universe. Okay. Okay. And you see the name of the founder, his companion, Carl F. Gross, and his uh, biological son, R. P. Kimley. And you see at the end of Kimley it says Y E L. Alright? At the particular at the particular time, see the see the Yahweh Elohim laid that body down in in in, in uh, the year 1976, February 9th. Okay, all right. Okay. But while he tabernacled in, in that body, you understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That wasn't Henry Clipper Kimley. If one truly understands, mm -hmm. okay. So you see there, it says Y for Yahweh, the E L for L. You got me? Mm -hmm. The I N N K Kimley. You got me? Mm -hmm. So Yahweh Elohim was in Kimley at that time. It wasn't it wasn't Clifford Kimley. You got me? Right. It was Yahweh Elohim in, in Kimley, you understand? 
Telly, you listen to it, yes. his vision. You got me? Yes. Not Henry Clipper Kelly's vision, but telling his own vision. You listen to it? Yes. No one can tell L vision but but L himself. You listen to it? Yes. Okay? So I go? Yes. Alright, so this is the this is the uh, our, our textbook entitled Elohim, the Arc Tyrion of Parallel of the Universe, okay? This is the introduction, page one, volume one. Okay? I'll just read it. It says, The sum total of these written volumes express my true revealed understanding of Yahweh Elohim and the creation as it recorded in the Holy Bible and a reference to Yahshua Messiah, the true son of Yahweh, and Satan or the anti Messiah, the true son of perdition. Yet, this understanding is not of my own private, independent, conceived. Imagination. In the month of June and year of 1931, I, Henry Clifford Clinton, was called to behold a great panoramic vision. See how it go? Yes. And on the same day, I also term received the divine revelation of spiritual meaning of the vision. Okay? Okay. All right. See? It is this simplified panoramic vision revelation of divine power of the universe given to me by Yahweh Elohim. Okay? Yes. And I've expounded, which I have expounded through charts and writings to my soul. You see how I go? Yes. Okay. What had that? What had that read? Okay. okay. All right. So now let's get into it for the time we have left. Now we're going to um, once again. This is our textbook entitled Elohim: The Art Tyrion Original Pattern Universe, Volumes One, Two, Three, and Four. Now we're going to uh, Volume Three here. Yes, volume three here. Okay, volume three. Page one, it says, forward the truth about divine visions and revelations, okay? All right. So just make sure you can get this. You both be here so you can see all, see it all in here. Okay. Hmm. Once again, uh, volume three, page one, it says forward the truth about divine vision and revelations. What's the new world dictionary 1960 college edition, page 1631, defined the word vision. Thusly, the act of power of seeing with the eye, sense of sight, something supposedly seen by other than normal sight, something perceived in a dream, trance, etc., or supernatural revealed as to a prophet, a mental image. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. The ability to perceive something not actually visible, as though mental acuteness or keen foresight, etc. The word revelation is defined in the same dictionary, page 1242, thusly. A revealing or disclosure, especially a striking disclosure as to something not previously known or realized. In Christian theology, it says, God's, but truly Yahweh, disclosure or manifestation to his creatures of himself and his will, an instance of this, what is so disclosed or manifested, something as the Bible containing such disclosure or manifestation. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So as we um, just keep this following, he says, so Yahweh has, has, has two manifestations of himself, okay? Mm. He has an intermediate or superincorporeal and concrete state or corporeal himself, okay? So he has two manifestations of the one spirit, okay? All right? Okay?
Okay. Okay. Let's get that. Get back to where you were. It says, according to above definition, a vision of revelation can be both external. That is appreciated by the physical eye as when one sees a performer on stage after the curtains are open. <laughs> the performer being visualized or disclosed or revealed at the same time. You listen? So yes. we're back to what we were talking about earlier, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. These curtains, right? Right. You listen? Yes. <laughs> so guess who the performer is? Ain't right. that something? <laughs> Yahweh Elohim is the performer, ladies and gentlemen. You listen? Yes. I gotta read it now. Just hold it right there. I have to read this, and I often hear it, and I, you know, I never, I never heard it, but I hear it often in the, um, in the uh, Meridian, uh, uh, ideal Meridian class, uh huh, uh, coming through the mouth of Doctor uh, 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 Carl Boston, okay. But I say that, but we know who's truly uh, doing the teaching. You right. don't get no credit to no man. Right. But I never heard it before until I heard it come out the mouth of that vessel. And it, um, if y'all we don't reveal it, you just won't, you will never see it. Man, I, just, I forgot where I, where I saw that at, man. Oh. Uh, I might have to use my other one. Where's my other Bible at? That's all. That's mine. Yes. Let me see it. Just give me a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Okay, thank you. There it is. I did highlight it. This is Revelation, the fourth chapter, in verse 11. That bad trying to get me off. <laughs> Revelation, the fourth chapter, verse 11 from the Holy Name Bible. Okay? And it says, um, we got the read. It says, uh, um, uh, in the textbook here, it says, let's get it right here. We said earlier in our discourse, these curtains here, mm -hmm. right? Right. See. See. It says invisible, inscrutable, incomprehensible, or unseen. You listening? Yes. Until we opens it up. You know what I mean? Until we pull the curtains back. You got me? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And start playing, you got me, and, and the movie begins. You listen? Right. <laughs> You listen? Yes. It's the actor. <laughs> you know what right. I'm talking about? Like that big thing right. beautiful? Right. See? Keep it right there. So it says, according to above definition, a vision and a revelation can be both external. That is, appreciated by the physical eye as when one sees a performer on stage after the curtains are open. See? Yes. You got me? Yes. The, the performer being visualized. Mm hmm the form of being visualized or, or, or revealed or, or, or vision, right? Mm -hmm. At this close or revealed, see, at the same time, see? Right. You guess, ain't that yes. beautiful? Yes. Um, 
That's beautiful. I was going to read this part right here. We're going to move on for the sake of time. Read the first bill at an um, hour and 50 minutes, please. So, just keep it right there. So, this is Revelation 4, and I heard it oftentimes through the, uh, like I say, Meridian, Mississippi class. I did more Meridian, Mississippi class, okay? Mm -hmm. I've heard it oftentimes. I never, I never heard anyone say it. And I often hear it come out of, come out of the vessel. Like I say, Dr. Carl, Dr. Dr. Carl Boston down in Meridian, Mississippi class, the dean down there. But all praise be to Yahshua Messiah. We know who the teacher is, right? right? He said, my sheep hear my voice. And so, Yahweh led it to me. You know, I've heard it several times. And Yahweh finally actually wrote down the book. It said, thou, it said, thou art worthy, O Yahweh, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, they are and were created. You listening? Yes. You got me? Yes. See? He created all things. You got me? Yes. See, for his pleasure, mm -hmm. they are and they were created. You got me? Yes. See? He is truly the performer. He listening? Right. Playing all the roles. You got me? Yes. For his pleasure. You listening? Yes. Isn't that something? Okay? I'm going to read this and we're going to move on. This is 1 Corinthians. This is also, I've never uh, read it. And I just heard it, like I say, out of a reading Mississippi class. But it's actually wrote down in the Bible. So that it is, it is proof. Um, it's 1 Corinthians 1. 1 Corinthians 1. First Corinthians one, um, one. I'm gonna start at verse um, verse twenty-two. Okay. Okay. First Corinthians, first chapter, verse twenty-two. Holy name Bible says, "For for the Jews or the Yehudites or the Hebrews require a sign, and the Greeks or the or the Gentiles seek seek after wisdom." <clears throat> but we preach the Messiah crucified <clears throat> unto the Judaizers a stumbling block and unto the Gentiles foolishness. You got me? Yes. It's a stumbling block. You're preaching this on this side of the cross. You got to come off of this. You got me? Yes. No, no man after the flesh, not even y'all beside the flesh. You got me? Yes. So we'll get to that. It says, But unto them which are called both Yehudai, Yehudai or Hebrews, and Gentiles, the Messiah is the power of Yahweh. See? 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 So he says now, watch it now. The Messiah. See? See how you go? You listen? Yes. So it says, uh, it says, the Messiah, see, is the power. Do it say power on here? Yes. See? And wisdom. Is it wisdom on here? Yes. See? Now, these are, now this is Joshua the Messiah right here. Isn't that something? Yes. You got me these nine divine attributes. Take on human form, see? It's the Paul Nature of Yahweh. You got me? Yes. From here to here, see, it's, 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 see this is these nine divine attributes. That's Joshua. Right. You got me? You can't see him here until you come into a set position. Right. Revealed to you. You got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? The nine divine attributes, which is Yahshua Messiah. You got me? Manifested in the flesh. You got me? Yes. Went through a death, burial, resurrection. You got me? The nine divine attributes come up out of the body. You get you understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He's a quickening spirit now. He's risen in your heart and in your mind within you. You got me? You, you listen to what I'm talking about? You got me? Yeah. How do you know that? Right? right? Because you have nine, you have uh, nine, I'll go out and get over here. <clears throat> See right here? Back to the nine divine attributes, yeah. which is Yahshua the Messiah himself, you got me? Yeah. He said Yahshua Messiah is the wisdom and the power of Yahweh, is that right? Yes. So you got nine there. See, so let's take the natural. 
Man has nine primary systems, nervous, reproductive, endocrine, respiratory, circulatory, excretory, digestive, muscular, skeletal. Ain't that something mm. to prove? You got me? So he revealed to you that's who you are. You listen. Mm. Okay? Got to get him off the cross. See? Once again, Yahshua, the Messiah, is the power. See? The wisdom, you got me? So you got to be all the rest of them, you got right? right Come right. to a set position. This is Yash Messiah right here. You listening? Mm -hmm. This is Yash Messiah right here now. Glorifies right now. You listening? Yes. Not here any longer. You listening? Yes. This body was assumed in the tomb. You listening? Yes. Okay, resurrected the quickening spirit you know, back into a super corporal form. Okay, as of right now. You got me? Yes. That's beautiful, okay? Continue on here. Back to the Elohim book. Um, you can just keep it, um, keep it right to these two. I mean, you know, make sure you can see it all in there. All right, it says so. <clears throat> Therefore, it can be said that no one has ever lived who has not had a vision or revelation either ex ex externally for one is constantly seen with his physical eyes or in internally for one is continually formulating mental images and appreciating new facts of knowledge within his mind. The facts should be brought out at this point that when one sees or has something disclosed to him within his eternal or physical eye such vision or d disclosure may be appreciated by everyone who has physical eyes with which to see. But when one sees or has something disclosed to him in the eye of the understanding or eternal eye, such vision and revelation usually can only be appreciated by one person. There are many exceptions to this latter statement in the Bible. Now, I need to read, reader, please, Exodus 24, chapter, verse 9 and 10. Holy name Bible, please. Exodus 24. Uh-huh. And right. also get right. Matthew. Okay. You also get Matthew 17. Mm -hmm. And um, um, let's try verse 1, 1 through uh, 1 through 13. Or just 1 through 3, probably. Just continue. Exodus 24, please. Exodus 24, 9 and 10. Mm-hmm. Holy name Bible. Holy name Bible. Uh-huh. You have it right here. Yes. <coughs> All right. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the Elohim of Israel. And there was under his feet as it were a pavework of a sapphire stone, and as it were the body of heaven in its clearness. Thank you, reader. Okay. So it says here, vision of Elohim in incorporeal form. Okay. See? This is going all going on inside of their clouds, okay? Or inside of their Okay? Yes. Now get over here. You're going to get read uh please say vision here. Yes. See. Matthew 17, chapter verse 1 through 3, I believe it is. Matthew 17, 1 through 3. Just read. Okay. Go ahead, read. One. I don't want anybody. Uh -huh. and, after, and after six days, Joshua taking Peter, James, and John, mm -hmm. his brother, mm -hmm. and bringing them up into the high mountain apart, mm -hmm. and was transferred, transfigured before them. Right, so he was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun. Uh huh. And his remnants were as white as the light. Right. And beheld they appeared, and behold they appeared unto unto them Moses uh -huh. and um, Elijah uh -huh. talking with him. Uh -huh. Then answered Peter and said unto Joshua, Sir, it is good for us for us to be here, if thou wilt let us make here three tabernacles, mm -hmm. one for thee uh -huh. and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Uh -huh. 
while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud, bright cloud overshadowed them. Right. And behold, the voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, uh -huh. in whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face mm -hmm. and were greatly affright, frightened. Mm -hmm. And Yahshua came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Yahshua only. Right. And as they came down from the mountain, Yahshua charged, charged, changed, excuse me, as, and as they came down from the mountain, Yahshua changed them, saying, and charged, charged them. them. Come on. Tell the vision to no man. So Yahshua, Yahshua did what? Tell the vision to no man. What did he say before that? Okay, and as they came down from the mountain, Yahshua charged them, saying, right. Tell the vision to no man right. until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, so it says, um, let's get back to these two. It says, One might be standing alongside of an individual having such a vision revelation, never see or, or hear anything, nor know that the individual was having such a vision or revelation. According, accordingly, one could not argue the point of whether another had or had not received such a vision or revelation. And before stated vision or revelations, generally speaking, are are commonplace being experienced by everyone who lives on the face of the earth. You listen? Yes. So, divine vision is, 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 is a, um, is a, um, is a common thing. Okay? Yes. However, when it becomes to divine vision and revelation, that is another matter altogether. But still not as unusual as happening as one might suppose, since the great Yahweh of the still universe is spirit. See? Yes. I already had it read, see. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 3, 17, 18, and John 4 and 20, John 4 and 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also Deuteronomy 6 and 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I already had those read, right? And therefore, invisible, there is no way that he could show himself unto mankind ex except in vision, see. Mm -hmm. See? In Revelation, ain't that beautiful? Yeah. Moses and all the prophets saw him thusly. Yahweh merely took on shape and form. See? Yahweh merely took on shape and form, see? Within the confines of man's mind. You listen? Yeah. You got me? So we got this cloud, right? Yeah. All around the edge of this chart. You got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. You listening? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is this is like this is like your head cavity. You got me? Yes. Or your brain. You listening? Yes. You got me? He takes and shape and form with inside of your brain. You got me? Yes. Send the confine of your man uh, of the man's yes. mind. You listening? Right. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. This cloud, see, that go all the way around the chart here. Mm -hmm. This this is like this, this is simultaneously to the curtains. You got me? Yes. And the curtains have been, you got me, mm -hmm. opened up. You listening? Mm -hmm. For us to see. You got to see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Elohim tell his vision to us. You got me? Right. You got me? Right. You got me? Yes. Doing his great pleasure. Is that right? Yes. And the, burden, and the curtains about to close. You listening? Yes. Ain't that, that something? Yes. Yahweh merely took on shape and form within the confines of mankind's limited mind. You listening? Yes. All right? See how I go? Mm -hmm. Confines of man's mind. See? See? All of the whole, this, this is what this is all about. The confines of the, of the mind. See? This is a pictorial illustration. 
You know what I'm talking about? What took place in, in the confines of man's mind. You listen to that? Yeah. You take the physical, you can touch this. Right? All right. You understand? The spiritual. You listen? Yes. Yeah. All right. This internal appreciation of Yahweh was, was contemplated before the time of Yahshua. The Elohim manifests himself in a physical way in the person of Yahshua Messiah, see? Manifests himself in a physical way, see? As Yahshua Messiah, old shit, so the nun here. And then, Yahshua Messiah, okay? All right? His concrete state, meaning Yahweh in the physical body is Yahshua Messiah's concrete state. You listening? Yeah. Or physical form of itself, okay? His third state, I would say, okay? Then Elohim manifests himself in a physical way in a person of Yah's Messiah who could be appreciated by man's physical eye. Yah states it thusly. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yahweh, and the word was Yah was word with Yahweh, as Elohim seen in vision of the prophets. And the word was made flesh. And the one among us, and we beheld the glory, the, the glory as of the only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. See? See? In the beginning was the Word. See? Mm -hmm. The Word was with Yahweh. And the Word was Yahweh. You got me? Yes. You got me? So then it says, come on now. So Yahweh Elohim was manifest in the flesh. Okay? <laughs> All right? So you got three states of Yahweh, two of manifestations of himself. Okay? One. Spirit. Unity is not a trinity. Yes. Okay. This is now that Yahweh in the person of Yahshua Messiah has taken off the flesh, see? See? So now Yahweh, see, in the person of Yahshua Messiah has taken off the flesh, see? <laughs> the body was taken off the cross, buried Joseph's new tomb, resurrected the quick in his spirit. You got me? Yes. You got me? You got me? Yes. It says the wisdom, the, uh, Yahshua is the wisdom and the power of Yahweh. You got me? Yes. You got me? This is him right here. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. As of today. It says, Now that Yahweh and the person of Yahshua Messiah have taken off the flesh, it, it become absolutely necessary that everyone see him in a vision of revelation if they are to see him at all. See how I go? Right. For he is no longer... See, for he is no longer, ladies and gentlemen, flesh and blood. See? But a quickening. See? See that lightning bolt? Like a quickening. See? See, come out of there, resurrected. See, he's a quickening spirit on a resurrected Yahshua Messiah. He's alive and more. You got me? Glorified state now. You understand? He is no longer flesh and blood, but in the quickening spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 45. Paul says, So Yahshua Messiah was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear in vision, see? The second time without sin unto, unto salvation. That's Hebrews 9 and 28. So then, when Yahweh takes on shape and form, see? But then... But then man's mind by the preaching of the true gospel of Yahshua Messiah according to the law and the prophets, then the man has a, has had a vision and a revelation. Therefore, for one to deny that divine vision and revelation are possible these days is to deny that Yahshua Messiah has appeared unto him, see? Or to deny that Yahshua has, has been resurrected, see? Has been re resurrected, see? See, has been resurrected. In his mind or consciousness, right? Or soul, right? Okay. That such a vision revelation are absolutely necessary while as yet one lived in the flesh in order for him to be saved, see? Okay. is evidenced by Yahshua Messiah transfigured before Peter, see? Evident by Yahshua Messiah transfigured before Peter, James, and John before he died on the cross, see? Mm -hmm. Before the Matthew 17 chapter. We already had that read. And he told them to tell the village of no man to be resurrected from the dead, Matthew 17 and 9. 
which means that no one can see Elohim or have a vision of him until he's resurrected from the dead in man's mind. See how I go? Yeah. Resurrected from the dead, see? In man's mind. Okay? All right? And consciousness or in his spirit. Okay? And, and disciples did see him in, in, in see him in transfigured form, see? They see them in transfigured form, okay? They could not have seen him or level on level ground showing that one must be elevated in the spirit, see? And in one's See, remember too that Peter, James, and John, and Peter, James, and John had to go up into Mount, into the Mount of Transfiguration to see him in transfigured form. They could not have seen him on level ground, showing that one must be elevated in the spirit and in one's mind to see him. See? Okay? Yeah. It's I mean, what you're reading says. And when the Israelites were baptized in the cloud and in the sea, see, when the Israelites were baptized in the cloud, see, they're in the sea here, okay, in the cloud here, symbolizing eternity, symbolizing Yahweh. He's an angel right there, with Yahweh yelling himself in the cloud, see, you know mm -hmm. I mean? This is Moses' vision that you wrote down, okay? It says, when the Israelites were baptized in the cloud and the sea, they saw the most similitude or form of Yahweh. So we had to read Deuteronomy 4 and 12 yes. mm -hmm. in the cloud. But later, when the same cloud covered Mount Sinai, see, the same cloud, see, mm -hmm. covered Mount Sinai. Yeah, when the same cloud. Um, Yeah, but later when the same cloud covered Mount Sinai at an elevated place, Moses, Aaron, and Nabal, and Abijah, and the elders of Israel, beheld the form of Elohim in the cloud. See? Right? Mm -hmm. According to Exodus 24, 9 and 10. How then does one become elevated in spirit in order to see Elohim and taste the preaching of the true gospel of Yahshua Messiah according to the law and the prophets, in which the pattern is revealed? So everyone who was really born of the spirit of Yahshua Messiah or have the Holy Spirit has had a vision of revelation, and since there is an innumerable host of such people, Hebrews 12 and 22, then one must accept the fact that divine and revelations are commonplace. Okay? All right. Okay. So let's get, um, let's get, um, let me see here. We've got, uh, go to, uh, turn to Acts 7, chapter. We have a picture on. What do you have on? I'm there. What do you have on? Camera. Oh. Good. Okay, Acts 7. Turn to Acts 7. Uh, Stephen uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, Yahshua. Okay. Okay, he's had a divine vision revelation. Okay. Let's see here. Um. <clears throat> Let's see here. Go ahead and get, um, yeah, Acts 7 started at verse 44. Acts 7, verse 44, out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh, get right here. Our Father 
verse. Where you reading from? Uh, excuse please. me. Uh, Acts 7 and 44. I'm learning about mm -hmm. it. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witnesses in the wilderness as he had appointed speaking unto Moses uh -huh. that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen. Okay, that in the 44th verse? Yes, sir. Okay, now follow me. So it said for Moses to have his tabernacle built at the fashion that was shown him in, in the mount. Right. Okay, so now that's according to um, um, Exodus, um, let's see here, Exodus 24. We had read, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Exodus 24, 9 and 10. When Yahweh Elohim took on shape and form, see? Yes. Okay. Right? right. Said, then we go on, then we go on down, we, we go over to Exodus 25. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go on and get that and come on back. Exodus 25, 8, Exodus 25, 8, 9, and then verse uh, uh, 40. Exodus 25, 8, 9, and 40, out of the whole name Bible. Mm -hmm. And let them make and let them make me a sanctuary. Um, or, or let them make me a sanctuary, or let them make me a tabernacle. Now watch it. So this is Moses having a vision. Okay? Yes. He's up here 40 days, 40 nights. Okay. And uh Yahweh Elohim, now he she, she shows him himself first because he's the first cause of all creation. All right, then he transfigured to a three-fold Italian tabernacle, okay? So now he's explaining, he's about, he's about to come out of 40 days now. Now he's about to explain, now he's giving him something he can be more familiar with, okay? For him to build this tabernacle or sanctuary and walk aside now when he come back down here, mm -hmm. like the one was showing him in the mount. Mm -hmm. Read, come on. Okay. Mm-hmm. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Wait, hold on now. He said, now, let them make me. Mm -hmm. See? I'm not the physical structure, right. in the per se. You got me? Yeah. I'm me. You got me? Yeah. And that's what we had read in uh, Psalm the Fourth Division. And also, you can pick the same, uh, the same thing up in Hebrews um, 10. Starting around verse 5 and 6, okay? okay? He said, the body had thou prepared me. You got me? Right. I'm not the body. I'm me. You got me? Yes. So read that again. Okay. Uh, and let them make me a sanctuary. Let them make me a sanctuary. Read. That I may dwell among now, them. I, now, I, now, I made the world among them. Right now, watch it now. So you got nine, nine divine attributes in an organized state here. Is that right? right. With the Yahshua Messiah. You got me? Yes. It's a part of nature right here. His eternal power is the part of nature, right? Right. So you can't see the, you can't see the part of nature here. So right. it's a part of nature to take a form, right? Right. You understand what I'm talking about? You got me? Yes. So you got nine here. You got nine in set position here. Mm-hmm. Come then you got intangible. Mm -hmm. You got me? So you got nine. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Right? Right. Nine vessels, right? Right. Man made in the image of Elohim, right? right. It's Elohim, right? The yeah. nine divine, he, he, he this the nine divine attributes to shape and form, right? Right. He's saying the wisdom and the power of Yahweh, you got me? Yeah. He's a, he's a, you know what I'm talking about? He's the intelligence, the beauty, the knowledge, and everything, you got me? Yeah. Foundation, power, strength, love of Yahweh. That's Yahweh's Messiah, that's who he is, you yeah. got me? You listening? Yes. Yeah. He's spirit. Now watch it. So now, Man made an image of Elohim by the tabernacle, by the pair of the tabernacle, right? Right. So you got nine come to a set position. Take the physical to understand the spiritual. You got nine primary vessels, is that right? Yeah. So nine, man has nine primary systems, is that right? Yeah. You got me? Let them make me a sanctuary or make me a body, you got me? That I made the well, and you got me? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. So I can show you where I am. Right. You got me? Show you who you are. You listening? Yeah. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. So get back here. It takes the natural and then the spiritual read. Okay. And let them make me a sanctuary mm -hmm. that I may dwell among them. Right. 
according to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle. All right, all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle. Read, read. And the pattern of all the instruments uh -huh. of Right, nine of them. Read. Even so shall ye make it. Verse 40. And look, that thou make them. That you make them. After their pattern. After the pattern. Which was showed thee in the mouth. All right, side go. Yes. All right, I need something to get in. You got me? Yes. And then, and then it didn't come out because the tabernacle was but a temporary dwelling place. You got me? Right. For the soul. You listening? Yes. You understand what I'm talking about? Right. See? Ain't gonna show you where he's where he's at in, in, in your cloud. You got me? Right. Okay. So now, um, go ahead and continue to read Acts 7. Um, go on and get uh, um, go on and read 45. Acts 7 and 45? Mm-hmm. At 7 and 45, I was wearing the Bible. Get back, Pete. Where you at? Just, just come on back some, but still getting there, you can see it all. Wait. Just come on, just come straight back. Just come out a little bit. I want to get this up here. Okay. Just stay where you are, get all that, but just come on back. Come on. Okay. Come on. Acts 7 and 45 from the Holy Bible, mm -hmm. which also our fathers that came after brought in with Joshua, son of Nun, uh -huh. to possess the land of the Canaanites. All right, to possess the land of Canaan, or possess Canaan's land, read. Come on. Whom Elohim drove out before the face of our fathers mm -hmm. unto the days of David, uh -huh. whom found favor before Yahweh, right. and desired to find a tabernacle for the Elohim, of Jacob. Uh-huh, or the temple. Uh-huh. Read. But Solomon built him a house. All right, so Solomon built Yahweh the house. You got me? Yes. So, so in other words, David, Yahweh gave 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 David, who was a type of Yahweh, divine vision, how yes. to build a tabernacle, uh -huh. and build a temple, like he did with uh, uh, divine vision gave, gave to Moses. You get me? You got yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So you got a law and a prophet right there. You got me? Yes. You understand know what I'm talking about? Yes. Vision of himself, you got me. How to build a tabernacle or build a temple, mm -hmm. a temple like the inner man, mm -hmm. a tabernacle like the outer man. The vessels, the vessels in the tabernacle will take it out and put it inside the temple. You got me. Yeah. So you have an outer man and an inner man. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You have the inner man, you have the outer man. You got me. Yes. That they make me a tabernacle that I made dwell in. They make me a temple that I made dwell in. You got me. Yeah. You got me. So the Bible declares that. Don't you know it's your body, right? In the temple of Yahshua, you got me? Yes. How you know that he's going to show you himself, you got me? Mm -hmm. In the cloud. Right. In your cloud, Brother Mercy. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. You hear this thing? Yes. Okay. And um, the tabernacle consists of a most holy place, holy place, court round about. The temple consists of uh, an oracle sanctuary porch. You got me? Yes. Okay. Just hold it right there. I'll just read it. Um, we we'll have a whole lot of time. I'll just read uh, for the First Chronicles to show that he did have. He showed uh, uh, David a vision. David had to. He couldn't build. He couldn't build the, tap, the temple because he was a man of war. He had blown his hands. So he gave the information, or you go, gave the instructions to his son. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, Solomon to build the, uh, the temple. Okay? Yeah. So this is first, first Chronicles 28, chapter verse, verse 19. It said, All this said David, Yahweh made me understand in writing by, by its hand upon me even all the works of this pattern. You got me? Mm -hmm. See, so there go again. Divine pattern of the universe. You got mm -hmm. me? Transfigured to a threefold and tangible. You got to what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. make, let them make me a tabernacle after the pattern. Let them make this temple after the pattern. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Taste, the, taste, taste the natural to understand the spiritual. Okay? Yes. All right. Go on and finish up here. Continue to read. Okay. I, I mean, uh, Acts 7 and what, 40? Yes, I'm at uh, Acts 7 and uh, 48. 
How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. All right, so how be it the now, now the revelation is coming now, because this, this is Stephanie had divine vision and by revelation of Yahshua Messiah within the side of himself. Is that right? Yes. So Yahshua Messiah is truly, is truly speaking through Stephan, taking them all the way back. Now bring them over here to show on them that the, 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 the tabernacle and the temple with number type and shadows. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And now about to be with where, where, where he truly dwells. You listening? Yes. Right? The first aim, once again, space to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is, not not on a not on a building on a corner called a church or the middle of the or middle of the middle of the block a storefront building. You got me or a mosque, you got me or a temple. You listening? Yes. Or a Mormon tabernacle. You got me or Jehovah's Witness Hall. He on the way over there. You got me? Yes. You listening? Yes. It takes the natural to understand the spiritual. You got me? Yes. Now watch this here. This tabernacle and temple was made by man's hands. You got me? Yes. Man's physical body was not made by man's hands. You got me? Yes. So since I know the world and, and temple, the tabernacle was made by man's hands, mm -hmm. and this wasn't made by man's hands, you got me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to reveal where I am. You got me? Where I've always been. You listen? Yes. Okay? So Isaiah, that's referring back to Isaiah 66. Okay? Yeah. Read that again. I'm going, I'm going to go there. Go ahead and read that again. Acts 7 and what? Acts 7 and 48 out of the Hebrew Bible. Mm -hmm. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Now, now, now we mess them up now. I say, now, I'm going to switch up on you. How be it that Yahweh Elohim does not dwell in tabernacles or temples made by man's hands? You got me? Yes. Um, so it's Isaiah 66. Six and one. It said, Thus said Yahweh, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Mm -hmm, See? Mm -hmm. Where is the house that man, that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? You guess you know what I'm talking yes. about? For all those things have my hands made. See? Mm -hmm. And all those things have been, says Yahweh. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. See? See? Heaven is my throne, see? And earth is my footstool. They said they saw a, a sapphire stone. You got me? That's like earth. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. That's what Moses and the seven elders and them there in the album. That, that's their report, right? right? Isaiah had the same report. Why? Because they saw Yahweh Elohim. You understand what I'm talking yes. about? And I said earlier, can't nobody tell El Vision what El himself. Ain't that something? Yes. So you got to be saying the self same thing. That's what it's only because it's only only one author. Right. You listen. Right. There's only one. Finish it, you got it. Yes. And that's Josh Masai. He is the true tell -el vision. You listen? Yes. There's only one of them. Okay? So, um, finish right here, Acts 7, to show um, that uh, Stephen filled the Holy Spirit, which his name was Yahshua. Okay? Um, Um, going um, it's going to go down go down to um, start at verse 49 and finish at verse um, finish at verse um, 56 okay uh, 7 and 49 I'll heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. All right, so Yahweh Elohim said that, that heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. Read. What house will you build me? All right, what tabernacle or what temple will that man can build me? Read. Says Yahweh. Uh-huh. Or what is the place of my rest? Right. For, uh, 56. Seven, uh, Acts 7 and 56, I'm going to the Bible. Mm -hmm. and, and said, Behold. I see the heavens open. No, I need to read straight on down. Oh, I'm sorry. Acts 7 and what now? Okay, okay. Acts 7 and 49. You, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, said Yahweh, or what is my place of what is my place of rest? Come on. Have not my hands made all these things? Now have my hands made all these things. Read. Come on. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in hearts and ears. Uh -huh. Ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. Now, now the name of the Holy Spirit, the name of the Holy Spirit is Yahshua. See? You got me? Yes. You got the satanic spirit or carnal mind. 
You got me? Resist in the name of Yahshua today. Yes. That's why Yahweh is tearing this whole creation down. Read. Resist in the name of Yahweh. Yell him Yahshua. Come on. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in the hearts and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit uh -huh. as your fathers did. Yes. So do ye. Right. Which of the prophets have not your fathers um, perceived? Persecuted. Persecuted. Uh huh. And they have slain them, slain them which show before of the coming of the rest, the just ones, Come on. of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Uh huh. Who have received the law by the disposition of the angels uh -huh. and have not kept it. They ain't kept it. Read. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. Uh -huh. And they gushed and they gashing of him with their teeth. Uh -huh. But he being filled with the Holy Spirit. All right. But he being full of Yahshua, who is the Holy Spirit, who is the comforter, who is the teacher, who is the spirit of truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking mm -hmm. about who is power. You know what I'm saying? Who is the wisdom of Yahweh? You got me? Yes. That's what we filled with. Read. Come on. But he, being full with the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly. Now he looked up steadfastly. He, now he's, he's he's having a divine vision. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about right? That's that's. Come on now. That's the only way you can see him. Come on. Looked up steadfastly into heaven uh -huh. and saw see, the glory see, of Yahweh. See, he looked up to heaven. See. Within his cloud, and saw the glory of Yahweh. Read. And Yahweh standing on his right hand. Uh huh. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. Read. And the Son of Man right. standing on the right hand of Yahweh. Uh huh. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. See, so the heavens open. See, he's in real eternity. You got me? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Come to the third heaven. You know, flesh and blood, dear. You got me? Yes. It's all going on in this cloud, in the confines of his mind. You got something talking about. I saw the risen Yahshua Messiah. You got me? Yes. Well, Yahweh Elohim. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You got me? Yes. In bodily form. Yahweh Elohim is truly telling his own vision. No one can do it better. If you got anything out there today's lecture, all praise and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh Elohim through the only begotten Son, our saving King and Brother, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Whew. Are there any comments or questions? I love the, the, the visions. It was really, really enlightening. Yes. And you must have a, a divine vision and revelation. All right. Who was that? That's Joshua and Messiah. All right. <laughs> uh, you see, um, we hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska on Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And if you'd like to attend a class here, we, we'll make um, ourselves available for whatever... Uh, time that you would like, um, that you that you have available, we will we'll make our uh, preparations to um, to um, accommodate you, okay, if you'd like to, y'all will leave you come and, and visit us here in Omaha, Nebraska to uh, study with us, yes. and uh, we upload our class videos, excuse me, uh, for further contact information, you can dial or, or leave, excuse me, leave a, leave a detailed email. Our email address is yashua47 at gmail.com. Once again, Yahshua spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A 47 at gmail.com. Leave a detailed email or voicemail concerning the day and time that you'd like to come and study with us. And also, you can leave us a detailed voicemail for Donald for Dr. Stefan Williams, area code 402-973-897. Or for Dr. Rapunzel Williams, area code 402-609-6588. Once again, leave a detailed email or voicemail concerning day and time that you would like to come and study with us, Yahweh willing. Also, we upload our class videos after every class. You can find our class videos. You can go to YouTube search and put an IDMR Omaha or Omaha class meetings. And that's Josh Messiah to lead, direct, and guide you to the video that it already have prepared for you to watch before the foundation of the world. 
in doxology. And last but not least, let's all stand for the doxology. Our doxology can be found in the King James Version of One Bible on the book of Jude, spelled J-U-D-E, verse 24 and verse 25. Also in the Holy Name Bible on the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H, same verses, verse 24 and verse 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both before all time, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.